Hey guys, it's Kasera, and today I'm gonna to be doing five star predictions. star predictions video because I'm really excited by a lot of the books that I am planning to read over the next couple of months so all of the books on this list are books that I plan to read by like the end of April so hopefully I can get to all of these and these are all books that I'm really hoping that I'll end up loving because I think they're gonna end up being five star predictions for me so first I'm gonna start with the two YA books on this list before moving on to the adult books that I'm gonna be putting on this list so the first book on this list is Heart of Flames by Nikki Popretto. So Heart of Flames is the sequel to Crown of Feathers, which I read last year and absolutely love. It's about a girl who wants to become a Phoenix Rider. So she has to pretend to be a boy in order to become part of this group of Phoenix Riders who are currently only accepting boys. But there is a ton of great lore in this series and there are so many great reveals towards the end of Crown of Feathers. I'm so, so excited for Heart of Flames, which is coming out on February 11th. And since I gave the first one five stars, I have a feeling that the second one is also gonna be a five star book for me. The other YA book that I feel like has the potential of being a five star book for me is Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. So I read Six of Crows last year and I really enjoyed it. Like I really, really enjoyed it. I ended up giving it 4.5 stars, I think. I think part of that was because the plot was a little bit slower than I typically look for in a YA series but I really love the characters and I've heard that Crooked Kingdom the plot really picks up and I already love these characters so there's a really good chance that this one is gonna end up being a five-star book for me I love this world and like I said I love the characters and I'm really excited to see where the plot is going the end of Six of Crows definitely made me excited to read the next book in this series so now we're gonna move on to the adult books that I have on my five-star predictions the first book is Shore Fall by Robert Jackson Bennett this is the sequel to Foundry Side also by Robert Jackson Bennett and I am so so excited about this one this one comes out in April I believe but I have the ebook for it which I got from NetGalley so I have an e-arc of it and I'm so excited to finally get to it this one is following a character named Sanja who is a thief and in Foundry Side she has to steal something and then she opens the box and it completely changes what she had planned to do with what she was told to steal and it's set in a very interesting world. I love the magic in this world because it's like technology driven magic which is really interesting to me and the ending of Foundry Side was so epic and I'm so excited for Shorefall. I'm pretty sure there are so many great things that are going to happen in Shorefall and I cannot wait to get to it. The next book on this list is Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. So I started this book back in November but I ended up pausing it when I started my December rereads and I haven't gotten back to it yet but I plan on picking it back up really soon probably this week. This is the second book in the Stormlight Archives which I'm really excited to continue on with. The first book was fantastic and I've heard the second book is even better. I'm so so excited for this one. You guys have no idea. This is Brandon Sanderson's really big series. It's supposed to be 10 novels long and the fourth novel in the series is actually coming out this year so I'm really excited to get to this one and to continue on with the series because it's epic. It has a very interesting world and great characters that I just love so far and I'm pretty sure this one is gonna end up being a five-star book for me. The next book on this list is Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch. This is the sequel to The Lies of Luck Lamora, which I really enjoyed last year. I really, really loved it, and I'm hoping to reread it soon just so that I can just live in the world a little bit longer. And I'm pretty excited for Red Seas Under Red Skies, mostly because I also really like maritime fantasy. I like Scott Lynch, I like this series, and I really love maritime fantasy, so I'm really excited to see all of those things put together, and I think it's gonna be amazing. For those of you who haven't read The Lies of Locke Lamora, it's about a character named Locke Lamora who is a thief, and it's kind of following him in two different time periods, when he's a child, and then when he's older, when he's part of the Gentleman Bastards, which is a thieving group, and it's structured in a really interesting way that just makes the ending feel really authentic, and I really loved everything that happened at the end. So I'm definitely excited to continue on with Red Seas Under Red Skies. And I'm pretty sure this one's gonna end up being a five-star book for me as well. The next book on this list is Memories of Ice by Steven Erickson. So I'm really, really close to finishing the second book in The Lies and Book of the Fallen, Dead House Gates. And this is the third book in The Lies and Book of the Fallen, Memories of Ice. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna end up being a five-star book for me because 
I'm like near the end of Dead House Gates. It makes me think that this series could potentially be one of my favorite series of all time and I'm really really excited for it. So I'm hoping that Memories of Ice will end up being a five-star book for me just based off of what I know from Dead House Gates so far. If not Memories of Ice, then at least one of the other books from the series will probably end up being a five-star book for me. But so far, this series is epic and grand, and I absolutely love it. And I'm really excited to continue on with this series as well. The next book on this list is Lady of the Lake by Andrzej Sapkowski. So this is the last book in the Witcher series, and I'm so, so excited for it. Now, mind you, I haven't read the second to the last book yet, which is Tower of Swallows, but I'm pretty sure that the Lady of the Lake will end up being one of my favorite books in the series mostly because I love finales like I really really love finales so I'm really hoping that this one will end up being a five-star book for me for those of you who don't know the Witcher series is about Geralt of Berbia who is a witcher which basically means he hunts monsters and I'm about five books into it now and I'm pretty hooked on it I'm really enjoying it and I'm really excited to finally get to the end of the series and the last one the one that should be no surprise to any of you who've been watching my videos before but I'm pretty sure is going to be a five-star book is A Little Hatred by Joe Abercrombie. I cannot wait to get to this book. This is the first book in a new trilogy set in the First Law world, which I love the First Law trilogy and I love all of the standalones and I'm so, so excited to get to A Little Hatred. You have no idea how excited I am. The First Law, for those of you who don't know, it's a grimdark fantasy that has great, unique characters that have very interesting development. It is highly political, and I love all of the details of the politics, but it's also really action-packed and I absolutely love every second of the series and I cannot wait to get to A Little Hatred as well. And also the second novel in this trilogy is coming out this year. It's coming out in November, which I'm also super, super excited for. So those are all the books on this list. Please let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these. I would love to discuss it with you guys. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, so consider subscribing. I also post bonus videos, so if you want to be notified as soon as I upload, you can click that little bell icon. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. All social media links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.